Hey, don't rage quit bro here. I'm just making a uh, follow-up video here going over uh, gear and skill tree and I'll, I'll make a, a POB as well. Uh, so this is the Atziri's Rule uh, Elementalist. I am level 94 currently. Uh, this is my current gear setup. With the Atziri's Rule you don't need links. It doesn't matter what the links are, just six supports. And the ones I have are Elemental Penny, uh, Less Duration, Inspiration, Unleash, Power Charger on Crit, and Controlled Destruction. Now, uh, Less Duration is one of the big ones. It's what makes these uh, come to fruition and explode quicker. Uh, so if you take it out, it's going to be blatantly obvious. Right? So you need Less Duration. It's required. Unleash makes it so you have uh, multiple things that go at the same time instead of just alternating between one or the other it will do both uh, next up we got elemental penny this is because we're doing fire and lightning uh, so you can't just go with one or the other uh, for lightning pen or fire pen ellie pen does both and it's pretty good uh, next up we got inspiration this is going to give us uh, five charges uh, so 35 percent more damage and then we're also getting 8% increased uh, crit chance per charge as well. That's another 40% crit chance and makes it so that the cost is a little bit less. So it's more manageable. Uh, this is a, a pretty good one to get. I, I, don't, I didn't really care to put quality on it. Uh, you get uh, increased duration of charges, which I'd never run into a duration issue. So I never cared to put quality on it. Uh, Power Charger and Crit is doing two things for us. Uh, one, it's given us 4% more uh, per charge, which I have 6, so that's 24% uh, more damage. Now, it's also giving us a reliable way to generate power charges. Now, if I had that reliable way to generate power charges, like on my chest, I may think about replacing this for something else. Uh, and then, uh, lastly, Controlled Destruction. It's giving you 44% more spell damage. The, the reduced crit chance does not mean anything. Uh, when I'm all buffed up, I have 89.69% crit chance. Just sitting in uh, hideout. Uh, let's see. I need to get my other golem up. There we go. 63.51%. Uh, now, uh, you'll see that I, I just mentioned the golems. I have four different golems. And uh, in that case, I just by summoning that ice golem, I went from 63.51 down to 55.2. So that one ice golem is giving me like over 8% flat crit, which is great. Uh, next up is going to be, this is like really the best in slot helmet. Um, unless you have like a ton of money to spend. Getting the, this, uh, there's two different enchants I would recommend this one for essentially gives you a 4% damage reduction on the physical. The other one I would get, uh, which I, I would get if I had found it yet, is the uh, Arcanus brand unnerves enemies, which unnerve is uh, they take 10% increased spell damage. So if I could get that enchant, that would be ideal, especially for bossing like those super high HP bosses. Uh, it would just be helpful for... Uh, and just, just to give you like a quick little uh, comparison, sitting here just as is, I'm looking at 35% damage reduction. Uh, I'm plenty capped on res. And if I go and look at, because I, I, I tried this before, I have this hat here, uh, 152 ES, double nice res, nearby enemies take 6% increased elemental damage, and I got a life roll. Uh, so just swapping these out for each other, like, that looks like a pretty good hat, right? Wrong. This is still better. Uh, so I lose 12% damage reduction on the Fizz for swapping hats, right? And uh, if you look at damage, I'm at 186 with this hat, 170 with this hat. Now, I'll do a little uh, quick math here. Uh, let's see, let me bust out the uh, calculator. So if it's 170, and now they're going to take 6% more damage, that's 180.2. So swapping hats, I'm less damage, I'm less armor. Sure, I have some more res to play with, but I also lose life and ES. Like, this is by far our best in-slot uh, hat, unless you're getting, like, 
you know, uh, some crazy 50 plus X hat, which I have not spent that much money on. This was about 10, I think, or maybe it was eight. Let me put that back up for sale. Uh, next up, Amulet, uh, the Anointment, Window of Opportunity. This is the only spot on the Passive Tree where you can get uh, reduced skill effect duration. And this, again, just makes it so uh, your attacks uh, come to fruition and blow up quicker. Uh, so, best, best Anointment by far. This is a work in progress amulet. Uh, I have T1s on the suffixes for chance, multi, and cast speed. And right now I'm still trying to get more uh, harvest crafts for the re-roll and keep suffix. Uh, other than that, though, you're looking for cast speed, crit chance, crit multi, life, spell damage, whatever you can get. Crit chance, crit multi are great. Uh, the more cast speed you can pick up here and there is great too. Because there is actually just casting the initial spell, you can kind of see it. There is a 0.5 second duration on that animation. So, ready and not I mean, before. for me, it's more like a 0.2 and change, where you cast and you, I'm holding left click immediately after, but you can't move. So, the faster you get that cast down, the less time you'll be immobile and be able to move after you cast, which is needed for ultimatums. Uh, next up we got uh, rings. Uh, this one's nothing special. You know, I got the unset with some life, some res, some ES, some cast speed, and some damage on it. Not, nothing special. Uh, over here it's a similar story, except I'm also picking up some more crit multi and some AoE. Uh, and the more AoE we get, the better too. Because uh, same idea. You know, you can take out a whole screen of enemies with a single cast. Uh, now, in regards to the spell itself, you'll notice the flame blast. One is always going to be centered around my character. The other one is going to be wherever I have the cursor. And the lightning strikes are actually intelligent. Uh, they will, uh, based on where you click, it'll search for nearby targets and will select the targets. Uh, so you don't even, they just like automatically will select, and if there isn't anything nearby, it's just random where they're, where they're hitting. Uh, that's just a, one little tidbit with the skill itself. Now, moving on, we got the chest piece. Uh, nothing crazy here. Uh, I just got one uh, uh, influence mod, the spell crit chance. Other than that, I'm just picking up some uh, uh, energy shield, some life, some res. And then the uh, last thing I have here, the Craft Bench Mod Regen 150 ES. I mean, you could put any number of different things here. And I, I may replace this with, like, uh, Dexterity and Quality or something like that. But it's, uh, you can play with it a bit. Uh, one thing I want to do is try to get Power Charge on Crit on my chest. And then that will allow me another slot to play with on the weapon. Uh, but that's not, like, critical or anything. It's just something I want to do. Um, alright, moving on. We got, uh, some boots here. Uh, I, I picked up the enchant for the, uh, damage penny. If you haven't killed recently, and that's going to be helpful for those, those big HP bosses. Other than that, I'm picking up a bunch of decks. Life, res, move, speed. Pretty, pretty standard for, uh, things for boots. Uh, moving on. Uh, the belt. Uh, the you take reduced extra damage from crit strikes. I, I actually slammed that with a uh, uh, exalted orb. Um, was it warlords? Yeah, warlords. Other than that, I, I picked up a bunch of strength, some armor, some res, some life. Nothing crazy. And then I just happened to get the reduced extra damage from crit strikes, which is you know good to have for defensive measures. You know, but nothing crazy going on here. The gym I have. Uh, one of the things that I always get, you cannot be cursed with silence. It's so annoying for me when I'm trying to spam my buttons. I'm like, it's not working, it's not working. Oh, I'm silenced. Uh, I hate this more so than, uh, corrupting blood. So I, I pick up something with, you cannot be silenced, and then I just pick up some, some crit chance, some multi, uh, some life. Now, one important thing, you'll see that... Uh, if you actually look at the damage, physical, fire, and cold. 
physical, cold, and lightning. I specifically do not get anything that's going to add either fire spell damage or lightning spell damage to all spells because that's going to mess things up. And I'll explain that more in a second here. Uh, gloves, nothing too crazy here. Again, picking up some decks, some life. I got a decent armor roll here. And then I just uh, threw on uh, the, the crit and alley damage craft mod. Now, I believe on the gloves, I still have a prefix open. So I might, uh, I, I don't know quite what I'll do with this. Maybe I'll, I'll slam a, a prefix on. Maybe I'll, I'll switch it to a suffix, you know, because I have the crafted suffix. Don't know. Uh, next up, uh, flasks. I picked this up, uh, the Remove, Freeze, and Chill. You almost always never need this because with your Ascendancy, you're probably going to be immune, right? But I've ran into these scenarios, only in Ultimatums thus far, where uh, two Golems die, and now I no longer have ailment immunity. And in that four-second duration, while you're waiting for them to respawn automatically, I get frozen, and then I die. You know, so uh, picking up freeze and chill removal is great for that, you know, awkward scenario where your golems do die. Uh, next, we have uh, basic sulfur flask. Pretty much I've been uh, too cheap or stingy or whatever to buy a uh, bottled faith, but uh, it works good, you know. Um, next up, I have uh, quicksilver with uh, corrupting blood. Cinder Swallow Urn. This is one of the best defensive flasks you can get. Uh, like in the middle of an ultimatum, I'll get hit like twice. I'll drop to like half HP. One cast, I blow up whatever, 20 enemies with a single cast. Boom. Full HP, full ES. Make sure you get a 3% life and a 3% ES. And in this case, I also picked up the uh, crit chance during flask effect, uh, which is the best one you can get. Uh, next, uh, just an armor flask with uh, percent armor, and you'll see if you look at my defenses, I have like pretty much 100% uptime on these when I'm mapping, uh, from 35% damage reduction to 65. So I, I'm pretty much always at 65 physical, 75 everything except for chaos, which is at a low uh, minus 37, uh, and that about sums up the gear. Okay, now let's talk a little bit about the tree. Uh, this is pretty cheap to do, at least the way I did it. Uh, you don't need uh, any cluster jewels. You'll see I don't have any. I've thought about taking this one, but I uh, haven't yet. Uh, essentially, you just get so many good nodes that it's hard to justify, you know? Uh, so what essentially you're focusing on is uh, life, crit chance, crit damage, AoE, cast speed. And that's like what everything is here. So uh, this is one thing I do want to mention. I got the uh, Militant Faith with Dominus. And that's making this guy do 3% more uh, spell damage per power charge. Which, there there you go. There's 18% more spell damage. It's a great node to pick up. I'd recommend. Uh, getting some life and ES. Life and ES. Spell crit. Uh, damage crit. Life. Crit. Crit, uh, cast speed, and AoE spell damage, uh, life, AoE, crit, uh, power charge. I am picking up the Golem Commander. Give us one uh, max Golem. Then we're picking up life. Coming over here, getting thunderous salvos, which uh, the two nodes before combined give us 20% seal gain frequency, which is how fast your charges refill. And then the last one's giving you, uh, oh, over here. And then the last one's giving you some crit chance, as well as a plus one to maximum number of seals. Uh, so overall, pretty good node. Uh, then moving on, we got uh, uh, some more cast speed, some AoE. Uh, let's see. Uh, crit chance. Crit chance. Life. Crit. Uh, flat spell damage and a little bit of penny. And some more spell damage and crit. And that's essentially all we're getting. Now, another key point here is going to be elemental equilibrium. Uh, and this is, brings me back to not getting any flat, fire, or lightning on your gear. Uh, because otherwise you're going to mess EE up. 
Now, if you actually watch this, and it's a lot easier to see when uh, you're blowing enemies up, but the lightning actually hits first. So that tells me that I can use EE, the lightning hits, procs, lowers fire res, and then the flame blast goes off. So EE is a very strong node here. I would highly recommend it. You just have to be careful about not building things with those flat damages on them. Uh, looking at the ascendancy, uh, I picked up uh, the exposure. So on my helmet, I have Arcanus brand, combustion, uh, LE weakness, and wave of conviction. And uh, what I have done here is makes it so they get exposed and they take an extra minus 25% due to this. Boom done. Uh, next up, this is perfect. This is great for clearing and great for bossing. If you haven't hit a unique, you get 60% AoE. If you have, you get 30% more damage. It's a great trade-off for alternating between mapping to bossing seamlessly. Uh, and then over here, we're picking up all the, the plus golems, uh, the automatic resummon, uh, immune to ailments, you know, all that good stuff with these golem nodes. And that's what I'm picking up on the ascendancy uh now the only other thing i can go over here is going to be the jewels and essentially for the most part i'm getting uh this is like one of the exceptions where i picked up a bunch of res uh but for the most part you're getting life crit multi and then uh, like a cast speed or spell damage something useful uh and that's what i'm picking up on these guys here and uh, you'll notice that these are the only four jewel sockets i have uh, I just got the one for the Militant Faith, and then three that look similar to this. Uh, this is my weakest one, which uh, I'll probably upgrade at some point. Whenever I'm building a character, I shoot for the target number of 107, right? Uh, and that's going to give you uh, 75 res when you have Ellie Weakness on you. So it just makes it so you don't have to worry about that map mod. Uh, now, I also mentioned in the previous video, and this is true, I'm ready, I can do any map mod. Before. The only one that I have to change anything with is Cannot Regen, and I just turn off my auras. Uh, and then I essentially have this much mana to work with, and with the Cinder Swallow, as, even if you just have a 1% node, which is what I have, I don't have any mana issues, uh, even on the no region maps. Um, and that's the last little thing to note there. Uh, so that's going to just about wrap it up. I'm going to end this video, and then I'm going to uh, make a POV and throw that in the comments as well. All right. Thanks for watching.